What's up, y'all? So, excuse my voice. I'm hella hoarse. I just want to talk about, again, this OG situation, this colorism issue. And, you know, all I want to know is, so y'all just going to ignore everything that OG has done. Y'all just going to make it seem like OG is saint. OG is just... You know, perfect. She came on the show civilized. You know, she came on the show with a cool ass personality and not bothering nobody. Y'all just gonna pretend like OG was that girl that everybody could get along with. Real talk, she involved herself in a lot of mess. Y'all just gonna ignore all of that just because you don't like whoever it is that she's arguing with. That's not okay. That's that's called being a hypocrite. I, I just won't let y'all know. <laughs> y'all continue to be a hypocrite, but I just want to let you know that's what that's called. So we all know that colorism exists, okay? Everybody that's black knows that it exists, all right? But what I don't like is pushing a narrative to hide behind and to and i want to get to what is the difference between mean girl bullying and colorism when it's a a light skinned girl being bullied like drea was when it's a brown skinned girl being bullied what is that considered? You trying to get a pass? Because it's looking like that. OG did not come on the scene as a saint. Let's keep that shit real. And I, I want to tell y'all something. And y'all might not know this shit. But you can dislike two people. You don't have to be like, oh, well, you know, because I don't like Evelyn. I got to, you know, support everything that this person do. But... The thing is, is that, like me, I don't care for Evelyn. Because I didn't, I don't like, I didn't like how she been. But she makes good fucking TV. So, if I see another person that is messy, or they are getting into people's business and trying to, like, start fights or... To me, it's starting fights because you should not be getting into pe people business on the level of you wanting to fight. You know, if you want to get into people business to cool that shit off, that's cool. But to jump into problems that's not yours, I don't I don't like that. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to look at OG like, oh, I like her too, just because she's arguing with Evelyn. No, I ain't got like neither one of their asses. <laughs> Like, keeping it real. I'm just looking at it for entertainment. But then when you, to me, create this false colorism issue to hide behind because you're trying to get them in a way. So this is a way to get they ass. That's not okay. Because, again, OG did not come onto the scene as this perfect person or this chill person and they was fucking with her and guess what even if even if og did come on the scene as this chill person it's been other women who have came onto the scene chill as fuck and cool and they gotten picked on so why is it that this girl can claim colorism and she get a pass what what did the other ladies get to claim was y'all mad when Drea was getting picked on? No. All right. And I was, I, I was to the point where I can't, I can't. If Drea don't get no, no, if she don't fucking say nothing or go off on these bitches, I can't. Cause see, I'm all for messiness. Again, that's why we watch this shit. Let's keep it all the way real. We watch this shit cause we want to see messiness. Don't nobody need to be acting like, they holier than thou, and they don't like messing this. That's why you watching the show. Come on. You know what I mean? But I don't like to just see straight up bullying. 
Drea, this girl was getting bullied by multiple people. And nobody was saying shit on the level that y'all trying to claim now. And bullied is not what OG is getting, okay? Because OG got a mouth. She can handle the shit. That's why I'm that's why I'm disappointed in this situation because like I have said in my other video, I would have loved to seen OG give whoever she don't like the business. If she wanna jump into people's shit, even though I'm like, okay, this ain't your shit to jump in, but if you're gonna be a real one, just do the shit. Do whatever you wanna fucking do. But don't then hide behind a narrative. Don't then hide behind colorism. Just go up on their ass like reality people do. But you trying to be a victim after you have been aggressive. No, that's not going to fucking work for me. And a lot of, I've seen a lot of comments that I'm like, you know, of course, you, I've seen a lot of comments where they're team OG. But I'm, I'm happy to see people that's not being manipulated. Because it's not okay. <laughs> It's not a lie. <laughs> oh, my voice. Y'all sitting here getting mad because somebody don't think that she's cute. Everybody has the right to their opinion, you know. I've seen people argue and be like, or they'll, they'll call somebody else um, ugly. But I'm like, now how the hell you going to call somebody else ugly? But, but this person can't call her ugly. Come on now. And then, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Where was everybody when OG first came on the scene? What was all this? Where, where, where's all these colorism supporters of her agenda? Where was everybody when OG came on the scene and OG wig was a mess? Her makeup was a mess. Her pinky toe or big toe or whatever it was a mess she was sliding out of her shoe she looked she was not pulled together this what i'm sorry but you want me to believe as many people that's trying to be team og right now y'all want me to believe that none of y'all like not a single one was in them comments clowning and or laughing at the situation when she first came on the scene. The girl was a mess. And that's okay. Because now, look at her. She's not, you know, she's more pulled together because of that. But she has not been the only one that was called out for looking a mess. A lot of them have from light to brown to dark. The colorism thing will only make sense to me, y'all, if they have only had one black girl on the show, or maybe two, and they, and they only picked on them. They only targeted them when the other girls also looked a mess. This, this show has been on for decades. They have had arguments, again, with light women to dark women, dark to light. When they have clowned women of all shades, when dark women have clowned brown skinned women, like when all shades have clowned each other, you can, I'm sorry, this shit is just not flying for me. When, again, when she first came on the scene, it wasn't that she was arguing with anybody. It was just that mean girl hazing type shit, you know, that they do with everybody. So nobody was looking at the situation like, oh, she arguing with Evelyn and we don't like Evelyn. So we about to be team OG. You know what I mean? It was just like, but the majority of the people was clowning OG. So now you're going to turn around and be a hypocrite because she's arguing with somebody you don't like? So anyways, <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not here for the bullshit. I'm not, listen, I'm very hard to manipulate. I do feel like OG is manipulating a lot of people.
they be mad at one person for doing something but give a pass to someone else. And and that's what we call favoritism. That's what Shawnee does, okay? Shawnee has admitted to that. That's what majority of people in this world do, keeping it all the way real, okay? You are, this is your favorite person. And to be honest, that's what I think a lot of people are doing. But instead of keeping it real and calling it favoritism, I feel like people putting colorism on the title. I think you're abusing a real situation. People want to be treated fairly. So in this world of reality TV, OG was being treated fairly. You know, if she look a mess, she going to get called on it. Okay? So what I'm seeing, though, is that somebody calling you out, somebody, you know, doing this, doing that. You know, people want to say, oh, well, they had her sit on a, another stage. Okay, and they had another person sit on another stage. You know, the girl did say that she want to kill people or some shit. Don't forget, it's favoritism involved. So if you are the friend of someone who is cool with the producer or whatever, and then somebody else just talking about they're going to kill you or just making threats against you, yeah, your ass about to go on the other stage. Get the fuck on. It's now a featureism issue. It's like, oh, well, let me let me grasp for this. Let me reach for this. It, to me, it's a coward-ass move. I'm going to just say that. I just want to make sure people are not putting their insecurities on other people. You, have, you could have an insecurity about yourself, and you thinking that people are dogging you because of whatever it is that you are insecure about. Meanwhile, they dogging the next bitch, and she is, she don't have the same features as you. She have the European features, and she's still getting her ass dogged. So I'm just not here for the coward shit of hiding behind a serious narrative that will, over time, if people continue to take advantage of colorism issues, it will have no meaning. So it's all... Fun and games right now because you're trying to fuck over people that you don't like. At the end of the day, you got to hold people accountable for their actions. Whether they're light skin, brown skin, or dark skin. You cannot give people a pass because they're dark skin with certain features. Okay? If you do, you are no better than whoever it is that you're claiming that you don't like. We watch... The same show, obviously. We don't watch this show because we want to fucking learn how to garden. I mean, we fucking watch this show for the messiness, I. <laughs> this episode was cool because they brought in some new girls. They from Memphis. I'm ready to see what they're talking about. Hopefully they get along with the girls. Somebody said that they don't get in an argument with OG. I don't know. Um, I hope, um, you know, I hope Jackie and Malaysia make up. Jackie is a trip, but I like her. Hopefully those two will be able to mend things and get back on track. And I did like the fact that, you know, Shawnee was cool with, you know, if Jennifer wanted to come over. Cause you know, people do say, uh, heated stuff in the moment and they have, they've all had a long friendship. So I don't know if uh, Jen is going to be, you know, want to come over. I would be enjoying both mansions, okay? I really wish they would stop going over and trying to speak to OG about the uh, situation because, you know, like she has revealed and like I figured, you know, she has some past trauma and people are going to hear what they want to hear. And it don't seem like she want to really talk about it either, so... I wish that, honestly, they just try to do some stuff to have fun. I did like the fact that Jennifer said that she never did experience any type of colorism issues. OG was like, you never called me noble. It's just like, oh my goodness. So now you about to get in the argument with Jen because she's never called you noble. And she called, it's just like, everybody can't say the exact words that you want them to use. This shit crazy, y'all. <laughs> Seem like though Phoebe might have an issue with one of the Memphis girls talking about she might be a stalker. So good thing that she is quarantining. 
So I can't wait to the next episode to get into the new girl storyline and just hopefully they'll be in there. I don't know, having fun. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out.